Hi friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video, we are going to be looking at all of my side hustle income for October. I'm going to share with you how much I earned um, and from which sources and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with this money. We're going to do some budgeting. So if that's the type of video that you're interested in, and I'm assuming that it is since you clicked on this video, just keep on watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. All right, let's get started. Okay, so in front of me, I have my income tracker bundle. This is available in my Etsy shop if you are interested in downloading it and using it for your own budgeting purposes. I use this to track all of my side hustle income. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, first of all, hi, I'm Jessie, welcome. Second of all, my husband works full time as a sewer and drain cleaner in the plumbing industry. Um, he's the breadwinner. He's our primary source of income. I am a stay at home mom. I have a 13 year old teenage boy and I also have an 18 year old teenage boy. I've been a stay at home mom for 18 years. Um, so while he brings in the majority of the income, I do bring in a little tiny bit of income from my side hustles here on the internet. I have my YouTube channel, which makes me a little bit of money. Plus I have an Etsy shop where I sell budgeting printables. So what I like to do, the way I like to do it is throughout the month as I'm earning the side hustle income, I just stick it in a second bank account that we have and I don't even think about it. And then once a month, at the end of the month, once all of the money has been accumulated and earned, I budget it out just that one time. So I keep track of it here in my income tracker. Like I said, this is a two page printable bundle you can get on my Etsy shop. On this income tracker page, I keep track of the income as it comes in. And then on this income tracker page, this is my totals for the month. So let's go over really quickly what I earned this month. It was a total of $465.30. So I'm not like bringing in a full-time income by any stretch of the imagination, but every little bit that I can bring in helps us on our debt-free journey. So I'm pretty excited about it. It was a little bit less than in September, but still feel really good about it. So on 10-5, I got my first Etsy check. Etsy pays out every single week, or you can set it up to pay out once a month. I don't know why I haven't done that since I only budget it once a month, but uh, I don't know. Um, I just kind of set it up for once a week and never really changed it. So the 5th of October was my first Etsy paycheck and I made $12.52. So I sold a few budget printables. Hopefully whoever purchased them really enjoyed them. And that was it for the month. That brought me to a total of $12.52 for the month. Then on the 12th of October, Etsy paid me again, and this time it was $35.16. And so we're up to a total of $47.68 for the month. I filled all this in off camera because I don't want my video to be super tedious and long. Um, on the 19th, Etsy paid for the third time this month, and I made $3.83 that week. Big, big spender there. $51.51 for a total. Um, on the 21st, YouTube pays out. So YouTube pays through Google AdSense. It's actually Google AdSense that pays, not YouTube. Um, I pay, I get paid for the advertisements that you see in my videos. And so based on how many advertisements are watched and clicked and whatnot, I get a little bit of money from that. Um, so the amount that YouTube paid was $3.96.11. And that's actually how much I earned in September. Um, Google AdSense pays out kind of on a month delay. So all of the money I earned in September got paid out in October. And that was that $3.96.11. And then on the 26th, which is actually tomorrow, so I haven't technically been paid this, but close enough that I could get this filmed, um, I made $17.68. 
so that money has been deposited into my bank. It just hasn't like cleared yet. It'll show up there tomorrow morning. So my grand total of earnings for October was $465.30. So I just wrote that in here. And actually I wrote in separately what I made on Etsy, which was $69.12 and $396.11 from YouTube. So you can see a bit less than September, quite a bit less than August. My numbers have been trending downward a little bit. I'm trying not to get too discouraged by that. Um, you know, lots and lots of people are out and about and doing things now rather than sitting at home watching YouTube. So, you know, it is what it is. Either way, I'm really excited to bring 465.30 into, um, you know, our household. Unfortunately, I don't get to keep that whole 465.30 because this is all like self-employment income and they don't withhold taxes. So I have to do that today. I want to put some money away for some business expenses and things, and then we'll see what I can bring to my family budget. So now that I know how much money I earned, I'm going to go ahead and flip back to my monthly budget worksheet here. I think this is the one I'm going to use for this. Um, it just makes sense to me to do it that way. So really quickly, I'm just going to transfer the income information here, and then we'll start writing in what I'm going to do with that money. Okay, so I went ahead and put in all of my income sources and the actual amount. I didn't bother doing an estimated. I never really try to estimate how much I'm going to earn because it fluctuates so much. And that's kind of why I wait until the end of the month and then just budget whatever it is that I have. Because if I tried to either budget as I go as the money comes in, or if I tried to estimate it, it'd be way too easy to get it wrong. So the amount I earned was $465.30. I do have that cash here that I went ahead and pulled from the bank, including this 30 cents, which I'm just going to drop into my coin jar. We're not going to worry about that. And now we're going to talk about what we're going to do with this money. So I have this binder here that my sweet friend Erin over at Erin Twibbles Around Aimlessly. That's her YouTube channel. Um, she made this for me. I won a giveaway um, on Snow Gardener 307's channel. And the prize was um, this beautiful binder from Erin, whose Etsy shop is budgets by the beach. It was a lot of information, but I'm going to link both of their channels and Erin's Etsy shop down below. Um, she made this binder for me and it's absolutely beautiful. Well, she didn't make the binder, but she set up the binder with these beautiful cash envelopes for me. And um, everything's done in this really pretty pink, which I love and is like my business color. I don't really like to call my little side hustle here a business, but I guess technically it is. Um, so in here I have all of the categories that I want to contribute to from my um, side hustle income. So I have taxes, that's the most important. I take 30% of everything that I earn throughout the year and put it away so that when it comes to time to file taxes, I have that money available, ready to be paid out because I don't want to mess with the IRS. 30% um, is just kind of what I read up on and decided would be best. Um, only recently have I started making money on my YouTube channel, at least enough to worry about. Um, and last year when I filed my taxes, my husband's withholding completely covered everything that I owed. So um, I didn't end up needing that tax money that I had set aside. But even so, I always do it. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So that is taxes. Then expenses. Um, my business here has very few expenses. Um, I have a Canva membership that I need to pay. And then like if I run out of ink for my printer or if I want to get new lighting or a new camera or whatever for my YouTube channel. So we're going to put a little bit aside for expenses. Um, the next envelope I have is debt. And actually I'm kind of wishing that I had had Aaron make this envelope rather than a debt envelope be like a take home pay envelope because after I put the money aside for all these other expenses, whatever I have left, um, I'm just going to kind of lump into my family budget for 
next month, you know, and work from it from there. So in a perfect world, anything I had left after I paid all my business expenses and my taxes and everything would go straight to debt, but that's not always possible. So I kind of wish I had had this say take home pay instead of debt, but it says debt either way. Anything that I put in here is the money that I'm going to add to my family budget to both pay off debt or go towards paying bills or whatever it is. Then I have savings. It's just anything that I'm saving for, for my YouTube channel or my Etsy shop. I'm not saving for anything specific right now, but I like to put a little bit of money away for, you know, the future. Then I have my miscellaneous envelope, which is something I have not yet found a use for, but it's so beautiful. And so I just keep it in here and one day I will have a use for it. And then this envelope, this blessings envelope, Erin actually made for me as a little special bonus. I didn't request this, but I've been using this to put money aside so that I can either do a giveaway on my YouTube channel or go in and um, support another small business, buy some things on Etsy or whatever or if I want to donate it or whatever. This is just kind of extra money that I set aside for any of those reasons. So those are the categories we are going to be filling today. So I'm just going to write those in under the bills and expenses. So we have taxes. I'm actually going to put these in a little bit of a different order. Expenses. Um, I'm going to leave off debt for now. Savings. Blessings. And then rather than debt, I'm going to write in take home pay. Because essentially, after we take care of all these things, anything that's left, we're going to put into take home pay slash debt. So the amount that I earned was four sixty-five thirty. You guys already saw me drop the change into the jar. Let's count up this cash and make sure that is what I have here. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So I do have 465 here. One thing I didn't think of was um, if I need different denominations than this, I might have to scramble for some change, but we're going to make it work. So the very first thing I need to do is figure out how much money I need to put into taxes because that's the most important thing, right? So I will take 30% of everything that I earned. So the amount that I earned was 465.30. Multiply that by 30%. The amount then that I need to put away is $139.59. I don't deal with change, so we're just going to round up and we're going to put $140 into taxes. So let's go ahead and do that. 50, 100, 20, 40. So that's going to go into my taxes envelope so that when I file my taxes, I am all good to go. Right now, ooh, it's a fat stack of cash here. Uh, my business taxes envelope has 1307 in it. So I'm just gonna update my little card here. Today is 1026, I think, 1025. So doing this a little bit early, but no big deal. So we are going to deposit hundred and forty dollars 1307 plus 140 I'm not even trying to do mental math because I'm terrible at it 1447 okay so let's get these denominations put in here and let's count this then and make sure that we have that 1447 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 1,000. 50, 100, 50, 200, 
50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 435, 440, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So that's 1447 as anticipated. We are coming up quickly here on the end of the year. And before we know it, it'll be time to file my taxes. So I'm both nervous and excited about that. So we'll go ahead and get this back in here. That takes care of taxes. And next up, we have expenses. So the only real business expenses I have, as I mentioned, I have a Canva membership and then anything else that I kind of want to buy to either upgrade the quality of my YouTube videos, if I need new SD cards, lighting, ink for my printer, that sort of thing. It's not a ton of overhead to keep this uh, YouTube channel and Etsy shop thing going. So the amount that I'm going to put into expenses this time is $40. I only put 20 in there last month and regretted it. Kind of felt like it should be a little bit more than that. So maybe we'll do 30 a month. Maybe it'll just kind of depend on how much, um, you know, how much money I earn or what I have coming down the pipeline. But either way, for expenses this time around, we're going to do 40 um, typically what I had been doing previously to this is just kind of paying any expenses out of pocket. Um, and then, you know, my take home pay would be a little bit higher from Etsy and YouTube, but it would kind of offset it. But I'm trying to be better about like keeping track of my expenses and actually putting the money aside so that I have it. So, you know, kind of thinking that as of this as more of a business, even though it's a very, very small business. So... 1026 we're going to deposit 40 and that's going to give us a total of 60 so 20 40 60 into expenses do not by the way follow me for business advice because i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just faking it all right, we're going to skip out on debt for the moment for savings. As I mentioned, I'm not really saving for anything specific right now. So um, I'm just going to put the $5 in there. We're going to do $5 into savings. Um, if and when I have like a specific thing I want to save for, whether it be a new camera or whatever, then I might go ahead and um, up this. But for now... I don't know what happened to the little envelope or the little index card that I had for this. I may never have even made one, but for now I'm just going to stick those $5 into savings. And then blessings. So I'm going to go ahead and take $10 here for blessings and stick that off to the side here in my binder. I love this binder so much. I understand why so many budget YouTubers and just budgeters in general are switching over to binders like this because they are so much fun. So that's it then. Um, the only other thing is debt, also known as take home pay. I could stick this cash in here, but I'm just going to deposit this cash in with our, um, family budget so there's no sense in sticking it in there so I'm done with this that's all set and the amount then that we have left for take-home pay 50 100 50 200 20 40 60 70 so we will add that 270 dollars to our take-home pay um, to our family budget moving into November I will you know, be able to lump this in with everything my husband earns and it'll go towards paying debt primarily. I think it'll go towards paying debt, but maybe it'll also go towards sinking funds or paying bills or whatever we need. It's not a lot, $270, but every penny counts, every little bit adds up. So yeah, 
I'm just going to really quickly add up my actual totals and make sure that they match what I brought in because we do a zero based budget here on Jaywhackers. So 140 plus 40 plus 5 plus 10 plus 270 is that 465. You guys saw me put the 30 cents into the jar. So we are all set. So that is it then for my side hustle income slash budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. I'd love to have you come back and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!